How did you come to choose collage as a medium? I collected paper wrappers and picture cards and comics as a child, so in a way collage chose me, which is a natural way to go as it gradually edged its way into my illustration work and finally took over. Strangely, collage is representative of my career path, a mix of various disciplines and skills through graphic design, TV graphics, animation and illustration. My work is coming together of all these experiences. How do you find your materials? I find materials everywhere by constantly being on the lookout wherever I happen to be. I spend hours and hours searching through flea markets, car boot sales, paper fairs, carefully choosing and checking for original papers with character. New printed papers just don't have the integrity. Every piece of paper has its own integral character and history and quality. What I attempt to do is balance these together. Anything that appeals to me from pavement litter to collector's pieces at fairs is a legitimate target. I beg and buy and also very kind folk give me stuff. So thank you. I'm a totally different type of paper forager than most normal collectors. I look for bruised and battered pieces, the stain and the torn, the pieces that have been touched by life. What are some of your artistic influences? There are so many influences over the years and they alter and change constantly. They range through Renaissance art, Raoul Duffy, Peter Blake, Joe Tilson, Kitai, Hockney, Warhol, Rauschenberg, David Sal, to Japanese and Chinese brushwork and calligraphy, Soviet heroic art, Frank Gehry, Dylan, country music, rock and roll.